Yesterday's lesson involved multiplying or the distributive property of multiplying a monomial by a polynomial and then doing the reverse of that, which was factoring a monomial out of a polynomial. Uh, this lesson is about the product of a binomial and a trinomial, or a binomial and a binomial. Um, and there are two ways that you can do this, so I'm going to break this into two parts. The first one is the area model. Um, in my experience, kids seem to like that better. It's not my preferred method, but they seem to like that better. So this is a binomial. We have two terms here. So we want to make a rectangle. Um, and we want one of the sides to be broken down into two parts. That would be the shorter side. We've got two parts there. We're going to call this part 2x and this part negative 3. So we've got 2x minus 3. This is a trinomial, so we're going to break this other part of the box, the other side of the box, into three parts. So we've got 4x squared plus x, 1x, minus 5. And now what we want to do is find the area of each one of these boxes inside this big rectangle. So for this one right here, we want to do 2x times 4x. 2 times 4 is 8. x times x squared is x cubed. For this one, remember there's a 1 right here. 2 times 1 is 2. x times x is x squared. <clears throat> and then this last one, it's 2x times negative 5. So that's 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And then x, there's no x here, so we just have that x left over. For the bottom one, the bottom row, we're going to do negative 3 multiplied by each one of those. So negative 3 is this, multiplied by 4x squared. That's negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And we'll just write down the x squared. And then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. And then just copy that x down. And then negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. So now, what we need to do, oh, I should pick me Comstock Park. We want to look at these six terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Which of them are alike? Here's an x cubed term or a cubic term. There are no other cubic terms. Here's a quadratic term because of the squaring. So we've got that. Oh, look, there's another quadratic term right there. Those are like terms. And then we have this term right here, which is a linear term. It has a degree of 1. And this one right here is a linear term, or it has a degree of 1. So we have these two x terms that are alike. So the final answer when we find this product right here is 8x cubed. And then these two are like terms, negative 12 plus 2. Negative 12 plus 2, that's negative 10, or minus 10x squared. And then we've got negative 3 plus negative 10. So that would be negative 13x, and then plus 15. And that is your answer. Historically, students have done pretty well with this. So I'm going to do these last two. This is a 2 by 3, just to show you that we could make the rectangle like this. The short side, we'll split that into two parts. The long side, we'll split into three parts. So then here we have 3x minus 4, and then 3x squared plus x plus 2. You can put the plus there if you want to, that's fine. I'm going to throw one in front of here because some of you are people with that. 3 times 3 is 9. x squared times x is x cubed. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. x squared. 1x times 3x. 1 times 3 is 3. x times x is x squared. 1x times negative 4, that's negative 4x. 2 times 3x, that's 6x. Again, this length is 2. This length is the same as that length, which is the same as that length. That's 3x. So 2 times 3x is 6x. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And again, looking at these like terms, we've got there's a quadratic term, and there's a quadratic term. And then this is a linear term, and this is a linear term. So then we combine our like terms, and we've got 9x cubed, negative 12 
plus 3 is negative 9x squared. Negative 4 plus 6x is positive 2x. And then negative 8. So this is our final answer. And the last example, what's different about this is number 1, we have a binomial multiplied by a binomial. And once we get that answer, we want to multiply everything by negative 2. So binomial times a binomial. So I can do two short sides if you want to call it that. Two here, two there. 3b minus 4. You could have put 3b here and the minus 4 there. It doesn't matter. If you just did that, then b and 2 would be up here. But this is b and plus 2. Now we multiply these together again. This is just this part of that product. We're only doing that part right now. So 3b times b is 3b squared. Negative 4 times b is negative 4b. 3b times 2 is 6b. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And looking at our like terms, oh no, I've got like a U of M theme going here. This is not positive. So we have 3b squared. Um, those two together, negative 4 plus 6 is positive 2b minus 8. However, let's not forget, we've got negative 2 to multiply by that whole thing. So that gives us negative 6b squared minus 4b plus 16. Negative 2 times 3, negative 2 times positive 2, negative 2 times negative 8. And don't forget your b squared and your b. This would be your final answer. I'm next going to show you how to use the distributive property. I don't care which method you use. They both work the same way. Um, so when you go to your homework on page 8, every one of these problems can be solved by either using um, the area model, also known as the box method in my world, or the distributive property. It doesn't matter which way.